Blue Boy. Hi. What are we doing today? Uh, we're going to put the rawhide ignition in my motorbike. Motorbike? Motorbike. What do we do on this side just now? Uh, we replaced the alternator. Right? <laughs> yeah, we replaced the alternator and the magnets, the rotor assembly. Yeah. Reinstalled all, it. All behind this crap back here. We're getting closer. Definitely getting close. Got to fix this. All right, let's focus on what we're doing. So Blue went ahead and got the uh, Rawhide electronic ignition. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on their website. And uh, at the same time, ended up getting a new rotor assembly and a new bolt to hold it all together and new pins. So kind of have it in a way that's uh, the way that you would probably put it together. Probably like that. <laughs> Let's open this up. See it? It's I already kind of opened it. Yeah, the package real nice. Yeah. Thanks, Rawhide. Thanks, Rawhide. It's USA made too, right? I believe so, yeah. It's made at Charlie's Place um, in Los Angeles. Yeah, made in the USA. Love that. Look at that. Easy to install. This is going to make your bike run real good. Yeah, I wanted to get all new electronics on this bike because I plan on riding it every day everywhere. So, you know, you might as well start fresh. Yeah. Make it reliable, you know. Exactly. So this is the magnet that goes in place of this guy. So it's it's and it only goes in one way, not that way. So there's a little pin. Yep, oh, there it is. So that goes in like that. Show it to the people. There it is. It's like the auto advance or something, mechanical advance? Something like uh, that. something like that. As the motor spins, this opens up and advances the timing. Yep. Right? Yeah. Oh, I kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then it sits just like that. Sweet. So we're going to put the, the rotor in first. And if you guys want to know, we got the rotor from V-Twin. That's the part number there, 32-7510. We have grease. What do you need the grease I've been for? told that if you grease these springs, because these explode after a, a few miles, that it helps the longevity of their life. I don't okay. recall who told me that. I believe it, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I think my friend Cameron told me. If I'm wrong, someone tell me in the comments. Yeah, let us know. Or if you're the guy that told Blue this, let us know in the comments. I could have made it up. <laughs> adds up though, right? It adds up. And then it'll kind of position. It has a little pin in here. There's a pin in there. You have to position that with the cam. There. Is it not fitting on there? Should just go right in. It almost feels like it's not the right size. I heard in an interview Sean Dugan once say V Twin doesn't make shitty parts. It's just a good place to start. <laughs> the old V Twin Hour is what what I heard it's called. V Twin Hour? Yeah, to like install a V Twin part, it takes an hour. Blue got it in. I don't know if you're supposed to press them in like that, but the good old V twin part. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Alright, so, so they now. say to put a little bit of lube or engine oil or something on the outside. Just the tiniest little bit. And that goes in a certain way.
right on the pants. Add to them. Anybody want to buy these pants from Blue? They're for sale. They're vintage. They're vintage. They've been worn. So the flat side. Goes, There's a little pin. Yeah, I see it. It's on the left here. Nice. That's in. Okay. And then we'll just check and see. It's all it's working. working. Two. And then it says to put this plate on at the 12 o'clock position. And do this guy. Put the wires through there. Nice. Got it in. Sweet. That was easy. That was easy. And then this goes to, one goes to the coil, one goes to the ground. Maybe? They both go to coil based on their instructions. The black wire goes to the hot side of the coil. The blue wire goes to the negative side. So the black goes to the positive, blue goes to the negative. It's nice that they have all the instructions online as well. Yeah, they have so, it all on their website. This is so nice. Yes. I love these bullet connectors. It comes all ready to go. Yeah. These bullet connectors are my favorite to use on everything. Mm -hmm. That's how I wire bikes is those bullet connectors. So now route it as you want. It's as clean as possible. We can put a little zip tie there. Don't zip tie it around the frame. And then we just need to figure out the length. Actually, hold on. Mamma mia. that gonna work I think so why don't you just wrap it because this is faster in theory this is faster I don't think it is I'll do it later oh right, let's do it right now you want to do a time lapse of this yeah it'll be a time lapse ready and time lapse All right, and we're back. We're back. We did it, we're just figuring out the length and the routing of it all. So I usually like to bring this over and around to the backside mm -hmm. through this. I'm seeing a lot of people use those square uh, coils and they're pretty fucking tight. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. All right, so the black one's gonna go to the positive side, and the blue one's gonna go to the negative side. I'll just figure out how long we need them. Something like that, huh? Yep, and then just hold those on your finger. I'm gonna grab the, the deck cutters. And then they provide you with these terminals. I'm gonna go ahead and grab. We'll do the old switcher over here. Our handy dandy terminals and our tool. I'll meet you on the other side. If you do wiring and you don't have one of these, get one of these. These are the best tools if you ever do wiring. Look how easy it is. Put that in there, figure out your length. Strips it right there for you. 
Oh, that one didn't work. Oh, that one didn't work. There it goes. Fast tool. Number two best tool. <laughs> Has a little spot for terminals like this. And it works amazingly. Look at that. Super clean. It always feels like we're in a rush every time we do the film. Every time we film. Yeah. There's no rush, like man. Rush. There's no rush. Rush to look like we know what we're doing. You know, and then when you rush, you like miss steps and stuff. Yeah, and you always mess it up more. There's no rush. We're here for it. Look at that. This B side ain't so bad. B side's pretty nice, dude. So like I said, the black black cable goes onto the hot side. This this wire is also connected to your ignition. So your ignition power goes into this side. Makes sense. It's an ignition module. Whoa. <laughs> Science, bro. <laughs> okay, we're done. That's it. Now we gotta wire the rest of the bike. All right, let's do so it. So we can uh, see if it works. <laughs> we'll get back to you after we re rewire the bike, fix the spark plug wires, do a couple more things. We won't be running today. We need oil lines. If anybody has oil lines, let us know. <laughs> we just need the vent and the return. These two. I borrowed them from Mike's bike for the show. Now I need a set. So, yeah, I mean, basically it says um, the timing for this before we go talk about the timing of mm -hmm. this really quick so if the battery was connected and it was fully wired we would flip the key on right now and see if the light goes on and if it does i'm oh, sorry it shouldn't go on what we would do then is turn the magnet and if you fully advance the magnet the light should go on at some point there that's what they were saying on their website um, and if it doesn't then you adjust the plate but first and foremost, you need to set your motor to the advance mark, top dead center advance mark, your flywheel, um, and then set the timing. So if we get to it today, we'll show you how to actually do it. If not, we'll do a part two. Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, for now, I guess I'll outro just in case. No, we'll outro in a bit. Yeah. See you soon. Taking a little break from Blue's bike to film Mikey starting his bike. Oh, look at this thing. Venting a little bit of that. <laughs>
Oh, Blue is playing his video game. We did not film an outro for that last video. So I guess I'll do it right here while Blue's playing this game. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I did a terrible job describing how to time the Rawhide Ignition. Um, it's on their website. So maybe when I install it on my shovel head, I'll do a better job at describing how to time it since my shovel head will be set up already with the battery and all the wiring. Um, we did a lot more work on Blue's bike and that's gonna be in the next video. So for now, wanted to, did he die? Yeah. <laughs> wanted to thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Um, please do all those things again and again and again. Uh, Follow my Twitch stream. He doesn't have a Twitch stream. Fuck oh, no. But we're, we might start one, right? You don't wanna see games. <laughs> uh, we've been kind of thinking about doing like a podcast um, in the next video, I'll describe that we've been thinking about doing a Patreon. If you think that that's a good idea, let us know in the comments below. And if you would want to support us in, in doing this full time even more and making more content for you guys, um, please let us know in the comments because I'm really interested in doing that. Stay tuned for the next video because the next one we get Blues Bike running and we do a lot more. Finally. Finally. And we do a lot more to that bike uh, that you'll see in the next video. So thanks everybody. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. We'll be out here. We'll get it going in the next one. Yeah, turn on your notification bell so you can <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that video pop up. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bitch. Oof. Got him. Oh!